Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode where we will be making Beef Boss from Fortnite. Yes, that's right. I kind of caved to do a Fortnite ca character and kind of not because I wanted to do a Fortnite character. Um, simply out of the reason because I want to start transitioning into doing human characters. Human-esque characters because this guy has a giant burger and a long tongue that rivals Gene Simmons from Kiss um, as, a, as a face and all that stuff but the reason why I chose Fortnite and not just because it was suggested by a friend but the reason why I chose Fortnite was because their design is very simple and it's very practical so I figured that if I want to start transitioning into doing more human-like characters, we could start doing that by making Fortnite skins. I mean, even if you don't play Fortnite, because I personally don't play Fortnite, but you gotta admit that their design is really, really nice. And it's it's simple. I mean, you can you can learn so much from it. So that's the beauty of Fortnite. I mean, the reason why I don't like Fortnite is because I'm not a huge fan of the Battle Royale games. Are they Royal or Royal? I don't know, whatever. But I'm not a huge fan of those types of game. I mean, I like regular multiplayer. Like, I mean, in Destiny, I, I love Crucible. I really enjoy Crucible. I'm kind of torn on Gambit and all that stuff. But anyway, that's that's a whole different game. That's not what we're supposed to be talking about. Um, but the way that a lot of these games like Fortnite and Apex Legends is set up, it, it's not really something that I enjoy playing. But if you do, I mean, that's, that's great. I mean, you enjoy what you enjoy. I enjoy making these skins and there may or may not be more on this channel later on. There probably will be more because I, I really like their designs. I mean, some of these characters just look so cool. Just so cool. Anyway, I took a really long time making Beef Boss's pants. Probably restarted three times before I got to the point of where of what you're seeing right now um because the first time I couldn't get it right and the second time I added too little clay that made him look too skinny and the third time was just I don't know frustration so if you ever get frustrated with a project just you know take a step back put it down take a breather it's okay and then come back to it later with a clear mind. Um, and I figured that this time around I'm going to put more clay that I need ne necessarily. So, you know, bulk them out a bit more. Because as you're seeing in this video, I'm trimming a lot of it off to give them a more defined shape. And it, it turned out really well. I have to say. It did. And I really enjoyed it. How his pants turned out. Now, for his straps, I had the option, well, I thought I had the option of either cutting it out and marking where the straps were going to go or uh, pressing it down, like compressing it more to the aluminum wire. But I figured because I bulked him, I, I bulked the clay and I put more clay than I needed, I figured it would be better if I cut the clay away and then fill it in with the other clay that will be a different color later on so that's the method I tried in this video it I think I think it turned out pretty well I really enjoy it one thing I do have to ask though is how did they come up with the design for beef boss I, I mean does this happen if you eat too many burgers in the game D does your head just all of a sudden transform into a giant burger and your eyes move to the top of the bun and you get a really really long floppy tongue i mean i mean what was the thinking behind beef boss i mean i love 
hamburgers every summer. We have them once a week. Sometimes twice a week, because I'm a huge burger fan. I mean, who doesn't like hamburgers? Come on. They're great. They, they got, they're like a whole meal. A balanced meal right there. Because you got your... You got your meat, you got your bread, you got your vegetables. And what other toppings you want to put on there? So, because I noticed that Beef Boss has an olive. And that's a very interesting take. I mean, olives included on a burger. Granted, it is just a single olive, but still, it's it's interesting because I, saw, I thought olives were just... Well, I mean... Either people throw them on pizzas, or or had them in martinis. But I don't know. Or you just use them for olive oil. I, I'm, that's that's all I know. Anyway, anyway, his his pants are almost done. So hopefully you're not getting too exhausted of watching me still make his pants we'll pretty soon be moving on we still gotta carve out his pockets so that's gonna that's gonna take a bit but it'll be fine uh, you could do the pockets one of two ways you can you can either uh, do them as I did or you can you can press them inwards with a tool or you can just pin them on I mean I just thought of that that's a that's a third method that you could do as well so, but, I mean, it's fine. Uh, so for his upper body, I covered him in a single color. But I didn't do the arms yet. Because I wanted to focus on, on the torso. And I did that in just blue color because I noticed on the picture that it's mostly a, a blue thing that he's wearing. But it's also mixed with orange. He's very, he's very blue and orange, but... I thought the blue clay beneath it would be better and then we could just do one orange one blue for his vest I also found that very interesting for beef boss to be very wearing a vest I mean you don't see a lot of people still wearing vests I mean is he is he also an employee uh, does he does he own burger restaurants I should probably research this. I mean, does, does Fortnite have story mode or is it just multiplayer? I, if, if you know, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly read that. I'll read all about it. Uh, oh, does Fortnite have a journalist? We don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't play it. Um, I left some space between his pants and his vest because that was going to be covered with not one but two belts i mean how cool do you have to be to be wearing two belts that takes skill but i also noticed that a lot of fortnite characters <laughs> wear two belts so i i guess it's a it's a fashion statement or it's just a regular trend over there for them I'm not too sure. Now, I didn't fully cut everything as precise for the vest. I, I mean, you could, if you're a perfectionist, you can cut it precisely. Or you could just do it piecewise and then smooth it out with the tool that I'm using. I don't know what these tools are called. I still don't know. And even if I did look into it, I would probably forget their names. So, I just... I don't, I don't know, I'm not even going to worry about what these are all called. And on the blue vest, I made it too short. But the nice thing is, is that it was still a bit thicker. So I could just use the tool that smooths these things out and just roll it on down. And it still, it turned out great. It's, it's brilliant. Wonderful. Now, I will admit that I baked this guy four times? Well, I want to say three times. 
because I baked the shoes first and then I baked the pants and then I baked his upper torso. Oh, I did bake him four times. Oh, where'd you look at that? I did because I baked the upper torso before I started doing the arms because I was afraid I was going to mess something up. But it did not affect the clay. Um, none of it cracked, none of it got brittle, none of it fell apart. So that was that was the very nice thing. Yeah, I mean, you gotta experiment. Because some people will say, oh, it's it's gonna crack, it's gonna break, it's, you know, don't bake it too many times. Other people will say, well, I've never had an issue. So honestly, if you want to do this all in one go and then bake it, that's great. Um, I didn't want to risk it because I have a tendency just to boop things up after a while accidentally. I mean, there's you know, just going to be an accident that happens. Or, I mean, one of my cats will jump on it and it'll fall and then it'll squish. And before all that hard work gets gets just goes poof, um, I, I decided to bake it in pieces. And I, I still really enjoyed how it turned out. Um, I had no issues whatsoever with it, so that... That was great. Also, I'm using a new microphone, so I hope that the audio turns out better this time around. And we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Alright, we are making that red single strap that he has going down him. I mean, how, how do you come up and pull off these color combinations? You have blue, orange, and red and red it, it's just it shouldn't go together at all it shouldn't but hey crazier things have happened in the fashion world and this is a video game and i think it turned out great it just it, it works it it shouldn't work it's not a color combination that should work but it it does i don't know i'm not a fashion expert fashion's weird Let's just enjoy the wildness of Fortnite, which includes being able to play as a giant hamburger dude. So that's the question. Is this, is this a human wearing a burger hat? I mean, I mean, is there a human beneath this? Or is this actually a hamburger that came to life and has a mechanical body? I mean, I'm probably overthinking this, but I'm really curious. I'm really curious as to what is beneath that helmet? Is this actually human? Or is this what happens when you eat too many hamburgers by the time you're 35? <gasps> we will never know. Well, I mean, even if we do know, do we really want to know? Do, do we really want to know or do we just want to enjoy our hamburgers? I thought we just enjoy our hamburgers. Anyway, here we're making the arms, which I had a fun time doing, but at the same time, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I, he, he does have a weapon. It's called a patty whacker. And I could have had him holding a patty whacker in both of his hands, but I thought, eh, that's kind of, eh, ah, boring. So I didn't go with that. And I figured he was going to hold his patty whacker in one hand. But then I couldn't figure out what I wanted his other hand to be doing. I mean, it could be on his hip. But, I mean, that would be too similar to Mickey. I already did that pose earlier on in a previous video. And I didn't want to repeat it. Because if I repeat it once, then I'm going to repeat it again, and then it might be too repetitive, and that's just... Mm, no, we're not going to go with repetitiveness. So, so, I figured, since this is a shooting game, that if there are weapons, there have to be grenades. Right? Right. Anyway, here we're making his head which was really fun to make and it got me hungry for burgers but as I was making this it snowed again and there is no way I am gonna 
go outside and grill in the snow. I mean, I love burgers, but it's freezing outside and I'm tired of the snow. I'll just, I'll just eat extra burgers in the summertime, but I hope that my face isn't going to turn into a burger head because that would be really, really weird. All right, here we're doing his eyes. Yeah. And we're gonna add his black pupils and then he's almost complete. Don't forget to sprinkle on some seeds, his sesame seeds, and top him off with a lovely cocktail olive. And there you go. We got his head. We're gonna attach it and here's the hand. Now, the reason why making the hands isn't fully recorded is because my camera battery died. Oops. And I didn't notice that until later on. So unfortunately it's not seen, but it's very simple. You make this weird shape that's wider at the top and at the bottom it kind of folds down. It's a triangle and then you attach the part for the thumb and then you got to do the fingers. Now remember on the fingers and this is very important. They are not the same length. Your fingers are not the same length. You got, you got five fingers and they're all a different length your thumb being the smallest, sort of. Yeah, your thumb's the smallest. And here we're making the patty whacker. And I've noticed that some people make all the fingers the same length, but they're, they're not, it's kind of frustrating. So, anyway, fingers all different lengths. And here we're making the base. I decided to make a base for him because I noticed that he has mustard and ketchup in his back pocket, sort of back pocket. It's an attachment. And if you can use those to squirt ketchup and mustard at your enemies and blind them before you whack them with your, with the patty whacker, oh, that would be so much fun. I hope that's an option at Fortnite. If not, you are seriously missing out. I mean, come on, how much would you love running up to somebody or surprising them from behind by squirting ketchup and mustard at them and going <laughs> and then whacking them with the patty whacker? It'd be great. really hope that's an option. I really do. Anyway, it's a simple round base. We're gonna have an empty mustard bottle and ketchup stains and mustard stains before we attach him. But there's also going to be a surprise. What's that? <gasps> it's tomato. Where did he get the tomato? Does he make his own ketchup? Does he? We don't know. We don't know. I don't think he does. I think that tomato belongs somewhere else. Anyway, all of that, let's bake them in the oven. Freshly baked. Now we're gonna cut that off and we're gonna glue on his hand. I wasn't sure how long to make it so even if you have extra aluminum wire you can always cut it off it's it's fine now I know that the straps weren't shown and that was because my camera battery died unfortunately and I had already finished it by the time I noticed it so I apologize for that in the next video it will be shown also those sesame seeds that he has on him are ridiculous I had to glue every single one on separately it it was it was very annoying i mean it made me realize i probably should have just included it in the clay but i decided to glue them on give him some texture and he's got ketchup stains on his boots that's ridiculous he never washes his boots now we're gonna glue him on and guess what we are done welcome to fortnite's beef boss I love how he turned out. He's even got a backpack and that little, little sticker of a burger with a tongue is made from clay. I know, it's crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.